All right, y'all, I got another one for you. Today we're going to be talking about, or excuse me, reacting to Charleston White. Another Charleston White clip here. For those of you who don't know, he is a quick rundown. He's a, you know, he has a pretty big voice here in the uh, hip hop community. He's a very controversial figure. He says a lot of things that people are afraid to talk about when it comes to a lot of these modern rappers and rappers of back in the day and things like that, you know. And it, it, he really gets, you know, he can really, un he really understands how to get underneath people's skin. That's what that's that's one way to put it. If you haven't watched his videos yet, but this video we're gonna react to is uh, courtesy of Real Life Productions. This is fair use, so let's get right into it. They listen, homie. They told us ten years ago that social media have now become one of police and law enforcement's number one tool for making arrests. Yeah. You can't go to these spots. Yeah. What what what's your thoughts when you see? People try to put a travel ban on you to come to certain cities. Uh, they just got themselves an FBI RICO case. <laughs> oh, man. They're conspiring. <laughs> they they nah. doing all kind of conspiring on the internet. Uh, no, nah, you, don't, you don't see me laughing. Mm. Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah, because some of the threats is like real, like, we going to do it to you. Like, they uh, talk kind of crazy, though. I mean, if you've watched Charles White before, his interviews before, he says a lot of controversial things and, you know, that, that trigger a lot of these rappers that don't even want him, they don't even want him uh, going to certain cities, which is what he's about to talk about, which is crazy to me because, you know, all he does is give his opinion, but it, it really gets under these people's skin, like I mentioned. Uh, a Homeland Security is involved now because of them. At first, it was just fun and jokes for me and Soldier Boy, uh, but because these rappers got online and started making these threats about interstate commerce and interstate compacts, uh, the FBI, uh, the Attorney General's office, uh, and Homeland Security have gotten involved. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which needed, uh, I feel like I seen a, a video of Brick Baby. He was uh, saying if he see Charleston White, he run it. Uh, he said he has bigger ops than what. No, Charles no, no, White no, 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 no. He he's backpedaling now. Uh, the video of oh. him putting the ten thousand dollars on his head have already been sent to the FBI. He can't backpedal now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, what I want to do is um. And let me just say this, homie. Yeah, please, please. I ain't made no phone calls. I haven't made no calls. Told nobody. Hey, they threatening me. These people are watching this shit, homie. <laughs> He's not kidding. Like, the feds are always watching these guys. What kills me about a lot of these rappers who, you know, turn up on, on, on social media, right? They expose themselves to a lot of people, and you don't know who's watching. I don't even think they realize. They just think, oh, it's just their fans watching. Like, nah. You got law enforcement on social media too, and they watch what everyone does as well, man. That's how they're able to catch a lot of guys. Uh, and, 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 and you know, there's some things that probably shouldn't even be on social media. I'll put it to you like that. But then wonder why they get caught. It's like everybody's posting their entire lives on the internet now, and they don't realize that can easily backfire. I got listen, this homie. I got over a hundred million hashtag TikToks. Over 100 million. They think rappers just watching me. People, children watch me. They think I'm a character. They don't understand I'm a real community activist who have worked in laws and legislation, been to the Supreme Court to get laws changed. They keep forgetting this shit, homie. So when they get on here and say this, what do they think the people who I've worked with, the law and what do you think these people are saying? So what they did, homie, they some of these get some of these guys had fell off the FBI's radar. But because they came back on camera threatening me for whatever reason, aha, they got three motherfucking warrants that'll get them extradited in no matter what city they state they in, in this country. That's how serious this, that's how serious they take this. So he's out. He's had tons of rappers from city to city, state to state, want to come after him all because of what he says on the internet. That really has no effect on anyone. But these rappers, like, he, but he basically talking about is how these rappers get their feelings, and then they don't want they don't want him showing up to their cities to speak or just to 
just to hang out. It doesn't even it doesn't even matter. That's like because at the end of the day, they, they they take what he's saying too to too seriously, and they don't have to watch him. This man, this man has now really built a huge fan base over the years, and I've been, I've been watching his interviews, and he, he I ain't gonna lie, he's he's very he's very entertaining on these interviews. He knows how to he knows how to make a civil interview be you know very entertaining. From he's been on Say Cheese, Lad TV, also obviously here on uh, you know, Real Life Productions too, and. Uh, yeah, he's really he he's he's really built himself up within a very short period of time. So I get I give Charles some white you know credit for that. Now, uh, me and my uh, we was having a conversation about rappers, and it was like, are they? Is a piece of intelligence missing? Because at this point, it's they the dumbest motherfucker. Ain't no piece of intelligence missing. It's brain development missing, homie. These are retarded drug addicts, homie. Most of them been molested. Most of them been abused. Most of them was in special ed. Most of them come from mothers who was whores and exposed them to their sexual nights of fucking. Man, these niggas fucked up. Say, homie, for these niggas to put the camera in and say, nigga, I got 10,000 on your head or possibly more, and you identify yourself as a gang member, as if being a gang member, it, it's illegal to be a part of a criminal organization. It's illegal, homie. So for these niggas to get on her and say, man, I, I ain't have to call nobody. Man, when these people realizing that these guys, when these people are realizing that these guys are flying across state lines and they making these threats on the internet, not only did they inter involve Homeland Security, nigga, but they involved the motherfucking government cyber unit. Yep. So when they delete these videos, they pop right back up to the cyber investor. Come on, my nigga, these are, man, I didn't even know this shit was that deep. So they're what the fuck. They're, Oh man, yeah, it's it's it one thing. That's why I always say social media is a blessing and a curse. You know, we're more connected than ever before. But at the end of the day, you got a lot of people out here who use it in the worst way possible. Just just sit on here and tell all their business and basically tell them themselves. Because once it's because what's the old saying go? Once it's on the internet, it's here forever. That's what a lot of these, especially these younger crowds, don't understand. Like what you put out there on the internet is going to stay out there. Even if you delete the photo, even, oh, excuse me, delete, well, yeah, delete a photo or delete a video or whatever, someone else could have taken that photo or video, downloaded it to their phone or computer or whatever, and they'll have that on their uh, memory drive forever. So he's not lying about, you know, how a lot of dumb, how dumb a lot of these rappers are who do things like that and then put it up on the internet and then act surprised about why they get caught by, you know, Federal Reserve or not Federal Reserve, but the, uh, excuse me, by the feds or the police and things like that because they're on the internet all the time. They're watching everybody. They're watching every, everything we're doing, everything we're doing right now. I mean, that's just the, that's just the uh, basis of it right there. So I understand what, what where he's coming from. We talk about, I'm not going to go through the entire video because I, I, he pretty, pretty much made, a, made his point there, but I will leave uh, the link to this uh, video down below if you want to watch the rest of it. You know, I just want to give my quick thoughts on it since he, it just popped up on my uh, recommended. I wanted, I was like, oh, let me talk about this. But anyways, let me holler at y'all later. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.